Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. You know, I get asked so many questions uh, on Instagram, you know, concerning denim. And I wanted to create a resource, a video resource like this, and also a written resource that people can reference to. They can look up, they can read about it, they can get the answers they're looking for. So I am showing you my book. It's an ebook, The Complete Guide to Buying Salvage Denim, designed to go as a companion to this video, designed to expand on what we're going to talk about. The link is in, um, in, uh, at the end of this video. We are talking 12 top Japanese denim brands. You know, to make the sense of this incredible, wonderful world of Japanese denim, I'm gonna present 12 brands, but I also am gonna present them in three different categories. We're gonna divide these 12 brands into three categories. Category one is the heaviest denim. The category two is most textured denim and category three we're gonna look at brands that produce heritage inspired denim and they are best at it so first of all i'm gonna present the top three japanese denim brands that produce some of the heaviest japanese denim fabric produce some of the most extreme heavyweight japanese denim it's Ironheart, Samurai, and the Strike Gold. So let's start with Ironheart. You know, in my hand, I'm holding the triple seven, 14 ounce over dyed version. These are my personal jeans. I'm loving this pair. I wear very often. And that is, the reason I tell you why I'm presenting 14 ounce rather than 25 ounce, first of all, we've done an entire episode on 25 ounce, so you can reference that. But secondly, I want to demonstrate something very unique to Ironheart. Every model that Ironheart produces features the complete set of features you will find in the gene. In other words, you know, the price range is 320 US dollars to 475 US dollars. And in this whole price range, each pair of jeans will feature the same amount of features, which is incredible. When I say features, what I mean is proprietary denim, hidden rivets, lined pockets, salvage denim ID, Point Pocket Salvage ID, obviously Salvage ID featuring um, on, on a ham. Proprietary hardware, proprietary buttons, reverts. I mean, the full complement of features. They have every pair of jeans featuring same amount of features. That's incredible. So that's the reason why I'm showing you the 14 ounce, just to demonstrate the fact that even though they're, you know, perhaps least expensive, although this is over dyed version, so it's not the least expensive, they still feature all the features. Now, why do I think that Iron Heart is one of the best Japanese denim brands? Why did I include it in this video? Because they produce the heaviest denim, 25 ounce, and they also, produce jeans that are most feature rich. Aside from special editions, the production denim jeans that they produce have the most amount of features of other brands. You know, in terms of cuts, their cuts really could be uh, divided into categories. Um, tapered cut like this, which is triple seven, and straight cut. So one, um, Triple five, triple seven, triple eight, those are tapered cuts. Um, triple six, six three four, and 1955, they're straight cuts. 
So they do not have high tapered cut, something that uh, would feature a hemline of 6.2 inch. They don't have it. And perhaps that's something that um, they will do in the future. But at this moment, they are focusing on straight cuts, slim straight cut, and um, they are most feature rich production uh, denim jeans available right now out of Japan. So that's why I say they're the best. My second brand in this category needs no introduction. Samurai Denim founded in 1998 produces some of the most beautiful, some of the most textures, textured, some of the most heaviest Japanese denim fabric. You know, um, one of the main difference that um, it sets them apart from other brands and, and sets them apart from other brands that produce 25 ounce denim, their 25 ounce denim, not only it's heavy, but also textured at the same time. Now in my hand, I'm holding a Samurai Okayama Special Edition. The reason I'm holding this pair of jeans, first of all, I've done an entire episode on 25 ounce Samurai denim. So you can reference that to get more detail on the 25 ounce uh, denim. I want to feature this pair because this is the most feature rich pair of jeans in my collection. They, they have so many features, they, they actually exceed that of, um, of Iron Heart. They have features upon features. It will take me a long time to actually feature all of them, but just take my word for it. You know, they are incredible. I mean, we're talking specific to this pair denim patch. Specific to this pair, we've got rivets designed just for this pair of jeans. We've got buttons. You know, each button representing the, the, the time period in Samurai Denim, they're all different. We're talking Savage ID that's featuring that silver thread representing Samurai Sword. We are talking special pocket using specifically designed fabric just for these pair of jeans. And the list goes on and on and on. Samurai jeans are incredible. This is special edition. So uh, once they sold out, they sold out. It's incredible. So let's talk about cuts. You know, um, in heavyweight denim, Samurai usually produces those jeans as a special edition. And uh, historically speaking, they've produced them in S511 cut, which is the slimmest cut. S710, uh, which is your uh, typical slim straight cut, which is S3000, S5000. But in terms of um, other jeans, they produce them in variety of cuts. What I really like about Samurai jeans is that they do have high tapered jeans with, with a hemline of 6.2. So for some of you who are looking for that high tapered cut, they do have it. It's uh, something like um, high tapered, uh, special edition that has been produced with Okayama collaboration. You know, in terms of price, they range $210 US to $295 US dollars. Uh, those prices are found at places like Denimio, places like Okayama. Also in my book, I'm referencing other Japanese stores that give you value bang for your buck. So um, look it up as well. It will give you a wealth of resource and, and it will reference the feed guide between all the 12 Japanese denim brands I'm featuring today. The reason I said that Samurai is one of the best Japanese denim brands and, and, and I featured them in a category that uh, the heaviest Japanese denim brand denim fabric of 25 ounce is because they have one of the most feature rich additions. They're usually special editions. The denim fabric is extreme in weight, 25 ounce, and also extreme in, in texture. And it definitely puts them in, in a category of the top 
12 Japanese denim brands. Now, I want to feature a third brand that produces some of the heaviest fabrics, that produces some of the craziest textured fabric. It is the Strike Gold. The Strike Gold brand was established in 2002. And to me, it goes beyond of simply making clothing. To me, the Strike Gold epitomizes the art of Japanese denim. I mean, the sewing techniques, the, the way they lay out and coordinate stitching to their fabric is just beautiful, cohesive, stunning. You know, let's talk about um, why I have included the strike gold in these categories. Some of the top producers of heaviest Japanese denim fabric. Now, in my hand, I'm holding a pair of jeans that weighs in at 24.8 ounce. This is some of the heaviest uh, Japanese denim jeans available on the market. And listen, I am featuring denim brands that are fairly easily accessible, fairly easily found and available to purchase. And um, I'm not featuring something that is you know, been made once and it's not available. These are actually still available to purchase. Now, what makes this particular pair of jeans, not only an, they are some of the heaviest denim at 24.8, but they are some of the hardest denim. In other words, the texture is tight, they're crisp, and because of that texture, it has a potential to produce the craziest fades and most striking, the highest contrast fades, you know, uh, available right now. Um, so the cuts really, um, th this fabric is only available in two cuts, straight and tapered. The tapered cuts are quite relaxed cut, you know, but so they don't, they don't have the same amount of cuts that Samurai's offer. They don't have same amount of um, variety that, uh, in cuts that iron hard offers but um, they have something really unique that only they are able to offer in terms of features you've got all the standard features you've got hidden rivets proprietary hardware you've got um, salvage id in a pocket you got salvage id you know um bottom of the ham so the, the features are fairly standard features, but the denim is definitely incredibly, incredibly special. One of the best, some of the most extreme fabrics you, you can find in, in Japanese denim industry. Now in terms of pricing, they range from $185 to $267. In my book, I, I feature where you can get them for that price. They are undoubtedly some of the best heaviest and also textured Japanese denim brands available right now on the market. My second category of um, top 12 Japanese denim brands, the focus of that category on the denim itself. So it will feature the most textured, the craziest uh, pattern and the craziest uh, Feel and the craziest three-dimensional texture denim available right now in Japan. You know, the, the, the first brand out of that category that I want to talk about is Oni Denim. Oni Denim was established in 2012. I'm holding in my hand super rough secret denim pair and it's absolutely stunning. You know, Oni denim produces some of the craziest textured denim. I mean, wow. In fact, they say that uh, there's only one mill, one machine, one loom state that's actually available to produce this denim because they push it to the absolute limit of what it could do. Oni denim. Oni, <laughs> it, it translates from Japanese to a demon. 
And the, 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 the story goes that when it was first produced, when, when, when the founder saw that pair of jeans, his exclamation was, it's a demon of a denim. And that's how Oni became Oni Denim. And uh, it just speaks of extreme, speaks of something that is just so out there. And it truly is. I mean, Oni Denim, actual Denim. Oni Denim, secret Denim. Oni Denim, secret super rough Denim. Those fabrics are incredible. You know, they offer a variety of straight and tapered cuts. And uh, there's something for everyone. Uh, something that for pretty much North American body and European body style and Japanese, they have that in their offering. The price ranges from $147 to $241. They're well made. They have main features. You know, the, the, the focus here is denim fabric, but they still, the construction is still Japanese level construction. It's excellent, it's good. It has all the main features like hidden rivets, salvage ID in the pocket, you know, special fabric for the pockets. And of course, salvage ID present here. But what really shines here is texture, the color, the fabric itself is so beautiful. The arcs, as you can see, have this beautiful wave that's instantly recognizable. The denim is nappy, the denim is slabby, it's extra rough, and the indigo hues are absolutely incredible. You know, in fact, when Oni Denim first produced their pair of jeans, it was very much of this caliber. They say that that meal burned and they were not able to produce that caliber denim until they were able to combine Ashwell denim with the secret denim. And this child was born, which is absolutely incredible. They are undoubtedly some of the best Japanese denim brands that produce some of the most textured fabric available right now. You know, you cannot talk about Oni Denim without talking about PBJ, Pure Blue Japan. It was founded in 1997 and they offer the best construction, the best texture, all wrapped in this incredible package. You know, in my hand I'm holding it's a special edition Okayama denim and pure blue Japan. And it's some of the most exquisite, special, textured, unique, incredible denim fabric that you can possibly come across. It's rough to the feel. It's three-dimensional. You know, that there is a depth of the color and obviously warp and weft being different creates that unique experience that is so special. You know, the hardware is proprietary hardware. They feature all the standard features like a coin pocket, a salvage ID, hidden rivets, you know, special material for the pockets. And of course, salvage ID. So they don't go crazy, crazy on every feature available. They offer standard features. They create a quality construction, but their focus is definitely on the denim fabric. You know, cuts, they have a variety of cuts that suit everybody's style. I mean, we're talking 003, 005, those are straight cuts, 013, 017, those are tapered cuts. And really, you know, they offer something that it will suit every body type which is absolutely beautiful the price range ranges from 165 dollars to 380 dollars so there's a huge price range but in that price range you will find you know special exclusive denim fabrics that go from you know beautiful special to extreme so definitely what's the price 
you know what they really shine at i find especially the special editions they offer some of the best textured denim that is limited um, in nature limited in production they offer some of the best construction offering all the standard features that make japanese denim so well constructed and they have key features that are specific to this brand i love the um, character and, and their identity being indigo leaf instantly recognizable it doesn't scream into your face it's quite um, um, quite um, tastefully done so I really really like that and you know in my mind PBJ totally totally deserves a spot in top 12 Japanese denim brands you know to round off this category last but not the least you know they hold their own is tanuki denim i mean tanuki denim is some of the newcomers it's established in 2016 but what they were able to do in such a short time it was absolutely incredible they offer exceptional fabric they offer great finishing and they offer contemporary fits that's what makes them really stand out from other denim brands you know they have number of cuts from straight and tapered uh, that that will give you a, an excellent variety to choose from and um, in my hand I'm holding a special edition <laughs> nicknamed cheeky bugger and I tell you why it's nicknamed that because typically speaking Tanuki patch just all, um, just features two stripes, you know, a, a longer stripe and a shorter stripe, white and, and, and red, representing Japan. In this case, this is a special patch, Tanuki meaning raccoon. In Japanese, it's a face of a raccoon, but on the cheek of a raccoon, there's a bug. Cheeky bug. <laughs> the humor, the, 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 character in this is just stunning it really communicates you know the heart of this denim uh, brand which is absolutely incredible this fabric is stunning you really have to see it you know it's got kind of a green tea um sort of a um weft that sort of like a matcha tea weft it's got a, a really beautiful texture now this fade incredible tanuki uh i've you know some of the fastest faded fading fabric but also some of the most craziest uh textured and, and contrasting fades as well you know the, this pair has got some really nice features you know the denim back pockets they actually lined at the bottom where where, where it would uh, <laughs> where it would matter you know uh, where your wallet would tend to poke poke out holes you know obviously standard features like hidden rivets are present there you know proprietary hardware is present there as well but also look at these bags i mean you can see this incredible herringbone fabric it's soft it's durable durable it's beautiful i absolutely absolutely love it you know stunning pair of jeans absolutely stunning pair of jeans now in terms of price they range from 186 to 249 us dollars and uh, they offer some of the best special denim fabrics and special features that really make them stand out and really i feel they offer an incredible incredible value for what you get now we're featuring the next category this next category actually has six brands in it they are some of the best brands that offer heritage inspired denim each brand has its own um, identity has its own deep rich history and also its own little specialty within that uh, category you know we're gonna get into full count and warehouse it gets a little more tricky to find those brands and in my book 
I am offering places where you can buy them. So use that as a reference uh, when looking for those denim brands. So let's start with Studio D Artisan. Studio D Artisan, some of the oldest, oldest brands established in 1979. They're some of the original denim companies and um, they offer some of the best features in terms of timeless classics. That's what I would say. They're that some of the best offering timeless classics. You know, in my hand, for example, I'm holding the Heritage Edition. It's a World War II and before Heritage inspired with, a, you know, singe back, <laughs> suspended button, buttons. I mean, it's rich in, 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 in just rich in, in features, you know? Like you've got a hidden uh, option for your suspenders. These pocket ba ba uh, bags are just this special denim. You know, you've got salvage ID fly, proprietary hardware. This is a really beautiful denim, high-waisted, straight cut that has that beautiful heritage vibe. So they really shine at producing incredible classic inspired jeans, clothing items that really sets them apart from another heritage brand. Like for example, the hardware is so heavy in iron that you can see oxidation almost right away, patination almost right away. The back pocket design is instantly recognizable. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. They offer really wide variety of cuts and styles, all focused on, you know, giving you that classic, classic heritage vibes. And they really excel at it. I mean, Studio D Artisan, it's a household name. Let me just say that. You know, every self-respecting uh, denim head knows about Studio D Artisan and undoubtedly owns some of their pieces. I sure do, and I sure enjoy wearing them. Now, in terms of price range for the jeans, they range from $215 to $295. So it's good, solid value proposition. And they are the best because not only they're some of the, they're some of the oldest denim brands, but they're a denim brand that carries history, that carries expertise, that has a knowledge of those classics and they produce them and they produce them well. Studio D'Artesan or SDA. Beautiful. Now the other denim brand that uh, needs no introduction in Japan. In fact, it's one of the most famous brands in Japan, warehouse and company. It was founded in 1995 and their focus is producing some of the best heritage inspired, classic American denim inspired jeans available on the market. Because they're focusing on producing heritage inspired and classic heritage American inspired denim, the cuts are mostly straight cuts. In fact, I'm holding in my hand 900XX this is probably the slimmest cut they have, and it's a straight slim cut with a hem opening at uh, of about seven inches for my size. You know, the denim itself, you know, it has that Americana, heritage Americana vibe. It's crisp, it's beautiful, you know, it's textured, that vintage feel you immediately get that vintage vibes. Even the uh, salvage ID is, is period correct. The presentation is period correct. I mean, they do have standard features like 
hidden rivets. They do have standard features like proprietary hardware, salvage ID pocket, uh, point pocket, salvage ID for the, for the ham. You can totally see their focus is not features. Their focus is denim and producing some of the most accurate, period correct denim fabrics. I love it. They fade to a beautiful, classic fade, heritage fade. And I can see why they will have a cult following in Japan and the rest of the world. Warehouse denim. Warehouse denim, the price ranges from $195 to $260. And they're the, some of the best denim brands producing period correct, heritage inspired classic Americana denim. They absolutely belong in the category of top 12 Japanese denim brands. In my hand, I'm holding the full count. Full count established since 1993. And why they are the best? Because they're the most accurate reproduction of vintage American denim. You know, yes, they offer standard features. Coin pocket salvage ID, hidden rivets, But their focus is absolutely on construction. The construction is using not only correct thread, but correct machines. They're using vintage machines to construct the uh, denim to completely uh, duplicate, replicate the stitching, completely replicate the construction technique of, of uh, heritage American denim. And they do such incredibly good job. Salvage so, ID with the red thread is absolutely beautiful. I'm holding the white Acru denim. But even in a white, there's so much texture. It's beautiful. It's got that heritage vibe. You know, the cuts, the cuts are stunning. There's mostly straight cuts, mostly heritage cuts. But they are um, slim and beautiful and give you that elongated feel and give you that style. The buttons are proprietary buttons. The hardware is proprietary hardware. The buttons meant to oxidize and patina. It's stunning. It's beautiful. It's quintessence of heritage reproduction. In terms of... Uh, prices the prices range $225 to $239 in my book I'm referencing places where you can buy these jeans and buy them at these prices and I have included them in top 12 because not only they deserve to be included in this list but they absolutely are the best reproduction denim of America vintage denim american vintage denim the full count and the last but not the least three denim brands that um, absolutely belong in top 12 japanese denim brands and embody the heritage inspired denim I'm talking about Momotaro, I'm talking about TCB, I'm talking about Stevenson overalls. First of all, Momotaro. Momotaro denim is established in 2006. They are, <laughs> their motto is made by hand without compromise. And actually it summarizes what they do. It's so well made. It's so beautifully executed. It's such a strong style. These jeans have such a strong identity. You know, 
I've met uh, with other denim hats that say Momotaro, either something they absolutely love it because it has such a strong identity, the two battle stripes, they scream into your face. Or they say, I prefer their copper label that doesn't include battle stripes. In any case, there's something for everybody. If you into strong identity, you wanna walk down the street, you wanna see everyone the two battle stripes representing Momotaro, representing Japan, representing the battle of fading denim. And I tell you, this denim fades to incredible high contrast, but you got to put in your time and battle it. Come on. So there's something for everyone. They offer big variety of cuts. I mean, they've got cuts upon cuts that will be for every uh, body type, ranging from wide cut to what they call tight cut. You know, this cut is one of my favorites. It's not the tightest or the slimmest. It's a straight cut with a tight upper block, and then it uh, goes into straight legs. So I love it because I can put on with engineer boots, it has that uh, vibe I'm looking for, and uh, I just really, really enjoy it. You know, in terms of construction, all the standard features are present. Hidden rivets. Uh, these pocket bags, bags have woven Momotaro symbols. <laughs> just so incredible. Like, it oozes quality and character. Incredible. And obviously, Momotaro proprietary hardware, buttons, rivets, the peach boy right there. So it has a strong story, strong character, stunning. Tells you right away it's milled in Japan, in Okayama. The denim itself, you know, it's around 15 ounce, 15.4 ounce. They, 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 they have a couple uh, different denims. So, they, they, they don't all like focus on a variety of denim, but rather cuts. They focus on good construction and um, it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, the, the value, uh, the price goes from $225 to $295. And they even produce some special editions that have silver buttons. How cool is that? Strong identity great construction and just a beautiful beautiful pair of denim that speaks of japan and just embodies that spirit of japan you know even the fact that it's there is a story behind with peach boy momotaro is a historic um lore you know speaks of this boy doing great exploits you know they they have captured that in the pink salvage id and it's just phenomenal you cannot talk about 12 top japanese denim brands without talking about momotaro i love it you know the other denim brand that it's really special is tcb tcb was established in 2012 so you know not as old as some other brands, not as old as the, uh, the, the next brand we're gonna be talking about, but in a short time, they were able to achieve a cult following status. You know, in my hand, I'm holding the cat boy. This is really special, special pair of jeans. You know, that DCB is best at recreating classic Americana, classic American denim and this pair is a prime example based on a, a classic pair of American jeans and the execution is phenomenal look at this patch it's hairy it's fun it's nothing nothing like it it's incredible I mean look at the back pockets they've got hidden re, hidden features look at the tax teaching right here right here it's so heritage inspired it's such a nod to the classic americana it's stunning triple stitched 
Look at the proprietary, proprietary buttons to this model. It actually said cat boy. The fly is just so expertly constructed. It's beautiful. The denim itself, it's tight. It's got a great, a gray weft. It fades just to such a beautiful, beautiful vintage fade. Absolutely stunning. I love it. I love it. The Savage ID has a white edging. <laughs> it's beautiful. Obviously, coin pocket. Beautifully executed here. The pocket bags, really good material. So the construction is there. From triple stitched to bar tacks. But obviously, the focus here is not so much on features, more of a style. This uh, cinch back, high waisted, very much wide vintage cut. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. TCB, it's out of uh, two cat brands or taking care of business. Those are two main thoughts what it means. They offer some of the greatest value. In fact, their cuts, uh, you know, focused on the heritage full cuts. They do have some of the slimmer cuts as well. And they range from $166 to $183, representing the best value. I mean, wow, what a value they offer. They offer best value. They offer classic Americana reproduction. They offer style and they were able just to carve out a huge market for themselves in such a short time and have a following that is um, faithful and and really into it and for a good reason they are definitely one of the best heritage inspired reproduction focused denim brands that offer incredible value and incredible style so the last denim brand I have included in top 12 is Stevenson Overalls. <laughs> you know, Stevenson Overalls, the company, that name, was first established in 1920. Come on, folks. And they were revived, that's a good word, in 2005. So rich, rich history that dates back to 1920. Rich history in style, rich history in production, rich history in knowledge and expertise in producing some of the best heritage inspired, classic Americana inspired, style rich features clothing. I'd say this brand represents some of the best, some of the best of the best historical workwear clothing you know in my hand i'm holding 747 the cuts range from slim straight to wide straight actually the cuts are quite uh, quite um, beautiful and, and very um complimenting and very well constructed and even though they're full cuts, they fall just beautiful. It's very pleasing to wear them, very complimenting to wear them, and strong, strong style. So the mo their cuts are historic cuts. So we're not gonna look, you're not gonna find high tapered modern cuts, but the historic cuts are really well executed and very fla flattering on, uh, on everybody style. The price, is $319 to $361. And you know, the construction is phenomenal. I mean, look at the back pockets. Those arcs are just beautiful. These rivets on the back are on the back pockets are just incredible. Such a historic nod to some of the classic jeans that has been have been produced in times past. The patch, the patch is actually paper patch with this incredible graphic of airplane from 20s even earlier than that 
The denim is beautiful. It's got that uh, greenish hue when it fades. It's nothing like it. The, you've got your standard quality features like hidden rivets. These proprietary pocket bags are just absolutely beautiful. I want to point out this fun detail that specific to Stevenson overalls. The buttons, they, you can see they have leather washers. I, I've never seen it with any other company. This is so beautiful. You've got a rivet just holding the fly together and you can really see the, the, the patination, the green patina that is taking place is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. The sandwich ID is fun. You've got one side is green thread, the other side is white. And just as I mentioned, they fade with this greenish hue that's very specific to them. You can see the belt loops have beautiful style with a bar tack holding them with an extra sort of almost like a Z pattern. The denim is very crisp, beautiful, and immediately gives you that vintage vibes. Stevenson overalls. They definitely belong in top 12. They give one of the best, produce one of the best heritage inspired workwear in Japan. Thank you so much for watching this episode. You know, I hope that this episode paired up with my book, The Complete Guide to Buying Salvage Denim, will give you that comprehensive resource that you can use in your journey collecting denim, buying denim, wearing denim, sizing denim, and it will give you the best experience of owning Japanese denim jeans and jackets and shirts and other things. So smash that like button. And I want to thank this incredible audience for joining us today.